Good evening, friends. Very good evening. Uh, on behalf of VIA Entrepreneur Forum, I welcome you all. Friends, uh, in Indian film industry in Bollywood, we see a lot of film stars. Although they have all the skill set which is required for a good actor, like acting skills, good face, good body, dancing skills, but still they are not successful. Whereas some of our film stars are not as good in acting or maybe other skill set which is required for a good actor, but they are very successful. And whenever there is a discussion, people say that this is X factor. A lot of directors say that this hero is X factor or this hero is X factor. है. Same thing happens in business. Lot of times we see that there is a business person who has all the qualities, he possesses all the required functions of management, he is good in marketing, HR, production, finance, all the but he is not successful. Whereas, few people who are not, we see that they are not in marketing, or they are not in production, mein ho rahe, but still is very successful. So, maybe there is a X factor which makes that person successful. So today I'm very happy that Rashmi, who is a national expert on entrepreneurship, is going to address us on this on this particular topic. What is that X factor which makes a person successful business entrepreneur? And one more thing, friends, I still remember about eight to ten years back. Especially in non-business families, whenever जब भी बच्चे की शादी की बात आती थी, तो लड़की के माँबाप की first choice कभी भी government job वाला रहता था, second choice maybe job in a corporate sector, और अगर कोई लड़का business कर रहा है, तो एकदम last category में आता था, या कई लोग तो बिल्कुल reject कर देते थे कि नहीं business कर रहा है लड़का मतलब future का secure नहीं है, हम शादी नहीं करेंगे। Now the things are changing. And I hope with startup initiative started by our PM and uh, now every engineering college and every MBA college and every association are taking drive for entrepreneurship. You don't become a job seeker, become a job giver. So future me ye scenario bhi aaye ki jab koi ladki kisi ko select kar rahi hai, या लड़का भी क्योंकि भी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट नाउ विमेन एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप तो वो उसे भी ये बोले कि अगर वो एंटरप्रेन्योर है तो ही मैं उससे शादी करूंगी नहीं तो मैं उससे शादी नहीं करूंगी तो दैट इज़ आवर अल्टीमेट टीम एंड वी आर वेरी हैप्पी टुडे दैट वी आर विथ अस रश्मि I now request Mr. Atul Pandey, President of the to welcome address the audience. Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to VIA for this session. Uh, <clears throat> I think for quite some time, for years, we have all been uh, 
uh, not only hearing but also reading uh, the books of uh, Rashmi Manan. Uh, I have also read a couple of your books, man. Uh, they're really motivating, inspiring uh, to the target audience, that is the youth of today. Uh, and, and while I was reading your book, it reminded me of uh, you know my uh, my uh, days when I was really I think called myself as a budding entrepreneur at that time. I'm hardly a 20 years old lad, uh, and the same organization with our business association in not this premises but our earlier premises was conducting a program on entrepreneurship development. That was about 40 years back I'm talking about, and uh, 40 45 years back. And uh, <clears throat> in that program. We had Dr. K. K. Mahan. Uh, he was a very, very motivational speaker and a real champion of uh, promoting entrepreneurship. Happened to be our faculty there. <coughs> My fellow industrialist, uh, Rohit Bajaj, and me, and we were about th batch of about 30 uh, student, uh, students or participants, or whatever you may call. And Shah uh, the program started, we had to do entrepreneurship in full spelling. We had <laughs> probably we make half of us would even fumble in spelling out properly uh, entrepreneurship. So it was an ethha. With the Advisors Association is really proud that for more than five decades we have been promoting entrepreneurship. We have been facilitating building up the ecosystem here for industrialization of this region. And of course uh, and local entrepreneurship has played a vital role, but probably, probably not good enough. We always have been depending on investments coming from outside, outsiders investing in our area, in our region, which fundamentally is not a very prudent approach. Unless we have local entrepreneurship, unless we have good startups, and very genuine backup to startups, we can't expect the region to really come with, come with its potential glory. And uh, in our endeavor, in VIA's endeavor to promote entrepreneurship, your uh, address today would, I think, would, would do a great job in motivating the youngsters. I can see their faces in the audience here. And even if 15, 20 of them uh, really come out uh, bold enough to take risks and uh, as Akash just mentioned not to bother about their uh, uh, their uh, matrimonial aspects but really uh, bothering about the economic prosperity of the region I think we've done a great job. So thank you so much for having spent time for us here and uh, addressing our uh, budding entrepreneurs of this region. Thank you so much. Rashmi Asha is a very famous person in India. Everybody knows about her, but for the sake of formality, I'm going to read out her profile. Rashmi, apart from being a writer, is also an entrepreneur and a youth icon. She has so far written seven books on entrepreneurship, which have sold more than one million copies and have been translated into 12 languages, including Korean and Vietnamese. Her first book was Stay Hungry, Stay Foolish which was a runaway bestseller on 25 MBAs from IIM Ahmedabad, who went on to create successful business. The book sold more than 5 lakh copies and still been translated into 11 languages. Our second book, Connecting the Dots, featured the story of 25 non-MBA entrepreneurs who were shortlisted for the prestigious Economic Crossword Popular Award 2010. Our third book, I Have a Dream, featured stories of 25 social entrepreneurs the book was number one fiction title in India in 2011. Her fourth book, Poor Little Rich Slum, captured the spirit of enterprise in Mumbai's Dharavi slum, was released in 2012. <coughs> the book was nominated for Crossword Popular Book Award 2013. Rashmi's fifth book, Follow Every Rainbow, was released on International Women's Day in 2013, featured the inspiring story of 25 women entrepreneurs. Her sixth book, Take Me Home, featured the inspiring story of entrepreneurs from small towns of India 
and has sold more than 50,000 copies. Her seventh book, Arise Awake, is about enterprising students, entrepreneurs, and was a bestseller on Amazon in 2015. Rashmi's latest book, God's Own Kitchen, is the inspiring story of Akshay Patra, a social enterprise run by monks and CEO. Apart from above, Rashmi has co-founded just another magazine, a popular youth magazine. She is a columnist with Ready.com and has posted the show Stay Hungry on Bloomberg YouTube. She is a motivational speaker from various corporates and for reputed institutes like 